Hello, this is Kathleen and this is My Alabama Farm Life. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to have a conversation and a good look at this raised bed that I have here in front of my house. But first I'd like to ask you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give it a like and leave a comment if you have any questions or just want to say hi. So in this bed I had some lettuce and I also have this asparagus that's sitting in a bag and I was thinking that maybe I could take this asparagus and put it into this raised bed. But I'm kind of afraid because I've had some problems with this specific raised bed. This is a newer bed, um, but I had it up last spring and this is where I planted all my strawberries, but they all died, at least almost all of them. I think I was able to take a couple of them out, but basically the strawberries do not like this spot. So last fall, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and put in um, onions and some garlic. And I did put garlic here and they are doing really well. So. I have the asparagus there. I'm thinking I'm gonna put it in here and it'll grow well, but come to find out, asparagus does not do well with uh, garlic or onions. So I guess that's not going to be an option. And uh, last fall, early winter, I planted some greens in here. I have some mizuna, and then I also put in some spinach. And the mizuna instantly bolted and the spinach never thrived. So I'm not really sure what's going on here. Now the spinach hasn't died, but as you can see, it has not thrived at all. It's not growing. So I'm actually going to harvest some of these little spinach sprouts and um, I'm gonna take them inside, give them some water, maybe some fertilizer and see how they do inside. Maybe a cooler climate is what they need. So I ended up filling five trays of these little spinach trays and they're in the basement and they've been given some water and some fertilizer. And um, so from the basement, I pulled out three of my jalapeno plants. Because this area gets so much sun, I thought maybe these peppers would do really well here. So we're gonna see. Now, if you guys were watching my videos from last summer, you know that a lot of my jalapenos turned out to be the yellow wax peppers, and they were pretty spicy, and I did end up using them in my jalapeno pepper jam, but um, they were a little too spicy. This is some spicy jam. But anyway, these are some old seeds that I've had for a while, and uh, I try every year to plant a few of them to make sure that they're still viable, and they are, and they're about three years old. And uh, I have these three come up, and then I have a whole bunch that I started in soil on my heat mats, and they have come up too. But they need to be out potted here pretty soon. And as you notice, I just pulled something out of the soil and put it into this container that I had my peppers in. That was a strawberry plant. So I found a small strawberry and I'm just going to put it in this little container um, and let it grow a little bit and then I'm gonna put it someplace else. So while I'm planting these last two peppers, I want to talk about a really great creator. I want to talk about Joe and Corky at Grow Big TV. I want to make sure that you guys are not missing out on a great growing contest. Now they are having a contest for six different vegetables. Well, one of them's a flower, but you can still eat it. But uh, they're also giving away $100 to the person that can grow the biggest item. The vegetables that they want us to grow, the first one is watermelon, radish, and uh, those are pretty easy to find. I found my seeds on Amazon if you don't have them already in your, in your seed stash. The next one is the Detroit Red Beet Registration, and if you are part of the Survival Seed Challenge, you already have those seeds. They also are doing the Peter Pepper Challenge, 
the tomato challenge where they're growing the Dr. Waichi tomato, which is a yellow tomato, which is very interesting. But I already picked out my yellow tomatoes for the year and I'm going to grow those. So I'm not going to be in that contest. They are also having the biggest zucchini contest and the mammoth sunflower contest. And I'm going to leave the playlist in the description so that you can go and uh, find these videos and listen to the rules and what you need to do to join. Now, so far, they don't have a lot of people joining, which is good because the fewer people that are growing, the better chance you have of winning. But then again, what's the fun in that? More people, bigger challenge. So that would be great if you guys would go to Grow Big TV, to the playlist, take a look, and see if you want to join this great challenge. Okay, I have all three of my peppers planted and I'm hoping that they do really well here. But this is not all the plants that I'm gonna plant in here for the summer season. I also pulled out a bunch of kale. Um, I'm hoping that I can grow some kale for my rabbits. I'm not a fan of kale, but I got a lot of seeds that I need to use. All right, so the seeds that I have are Nero di Toscana, thousand head and then I have the Nero di Toscana cabbage which probably is going to be the same thing and then I have the blue curled scotch so those are the things that I am planting in this bed all right well it's been a few days since I pulled out these little spinach plants from the garden and they seem to be doing really well I still got a lot of um hay in there with them and uh, when I go to up pot them in as they get a little bigger then I'll eliminate all of that but otherwise they seem to be good looking pretty good now I was looking at my strawberry and it looks like I've got some fungus growing in the soil um, I looked it up it seems to be okay I'm gonna wait and see what it does but I may change it out so I'm back out here in my raised bed to take a peek at the peppers and they seem to be doing pretty well. I was concerned about them the other day because it looks like they had some transfer shock, but they've perked up quite a bit and that's awesome. And I just put the kale seeds in yesterday. Um, it was dry yesterday morning and I knew we were going to get some evening rain or some afternoon rains. So I wanted to get those seeds in and guys look at my garlic. Isn't it beautiful? I'm so proud of that garlic. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you learned something or at least was entertained. You guys have a blessed and joyous day, and I will see you on my next video.